All right, guys, so here is truck number two out of a series of trucks that we're doing with the any level lift manual system. This is a 2018 Ford F-250. And as you can tell, it's definitely not stock. Um, this truck came to us completely stock. Uh, it's got 17,000 miles on it. Um, and then we did all the modifications here in house. So quick list and quick rundown on this is uh, we got the any level lift four to eight manual system. So this gives you three ride height adjustment levels by repositioning your coilover. And then also same idea on the bottom here. There's a wedge there with three different mounting points. Moving that coilover front to back will give you positions from four to six to eight. Uh, the system is also upgradable to go up to 13. Uh, with the driveline package and the brake line extensions. Uh, there are some upgrades for that, but it can be done. This can also be upgraded to the hydraulic package, which is a fully automatic package where you hit the switches and the truck will go from level all the way up to 13 or stop anywhere on the in-between. So with this package, you pretty much get all the same undercarriage components that you do on a hydraulic truck. So that'll come with your adjustable steering and panhard assemblies. Um, and then your 2.5 King coilovers, all your mounting brackets. Um, the front, we eliminate the coil spring, put that coil over there, and then also add a triangulated four link. Uh, this definitely adds a lot of ride quality improvement and uh, ridges up the front quite a bit. Um, the back, you can see there's a quite a bit of improvement there. These trucks typically have a leaf spring on them. Um, that leaf spring's been removed. We replaced that with this triangulated four-link coilover conversion, which is also adjustable from level to eight inches on this specific truck. And with uh, some minor upgrades, you can get that all the way up to 13. Uh, so, yeah, actually, just to get a little bit more on this. So, by alleviating that leaf spring, this is a question we get a lot. By alleviating the leaf spring, um, and adding the coil, uh, we get a lot of questions on, well, how does it tow? What's your capacity? So you can see on this rear spring here, this is a dual rate. So we have a 350 pound spring on the top stacked on top of a 1500 pound spring with a slider that will move up to a jam nut on the body of the shock. So you get insanely good ride quality out of this truck when it's just driving normal. And then when you put weight on the back, you will compress this top spring, the spacer hits this jam nut, and you're on a 1500 pound spring. So you're equal or better than factory tow capacity on these. Um, rest of the truck, I did some minor exterior aesthetic improvements. Um, each of these is gonna be done a little bit different, but kind of all with that same, um, same idea in mind where we're kind of just cleaning up the, uh, you know, getting rid of a lot of the chrome or adding chrome depending upon, you know, what kind of style we're going for. Um, and just kind of driving whatever we started with, uh, you know, home with some other stuff. So we did, we got a bed decal on here with our logo on it. Uh, we did shade the tail lights. Um, front and rear bumpers are painted to match. Uh, we also take chrome off the emblems. So we do paint the exterior or where the chrome was to go white. Uh, we leave the blue, because it's a Ford. Ford Oval's blue, plus we got some blue on the Kings. Um, wheel and tire package, this is running a Vision 24 by 14. Uh, these are a, I believe, negative 76 offset, and then we have a 40, 15, 50, uh, 24 Ironman tire on this. We got a bunch of different wheel and tire options. Everybody's got a different flavor for more wheel, less tire. Less wheel, more tire. We can always accommodate to that, but we put these on as a starting point. It's kind of a good, good neutral ground. Um, going up towards the front of the truck, we did some uh, some PTM on the fender badges. Those are typically chrome. They get split down and then painted the max the rest of the truck. Uh, up front, we painted the grill. Again, got rid of the chrome and the Ford emblem. Uh, painted the front bumper. And then we added some, uh, some blacked out headlights. And then this is a, it's an XLT truck, but this is a slight upgrade from your, your base XLT. 
So this will be like a mid-grade. Um, now with this, we added leather. These trucks typically don't come with leather. And if they do have leather, it's a black leather and it doesn't really match the door panels very well. This is a custom kit that has the black and like this grayish tan that the door panels are. So the leather matches the interior very well. Uh, front and back of the truck is done in that same manner. Uh, so we got a 40 20 40 up front for your seating configuration center console does flip down regular cup holders and all that uh we do have the sync 3 touchscreen now it is nav ready does not have navigation but it is nav ready uh trailer brake controller exhaust brake uh electronic shift four-wheel drive with the electronic locking or a diff um manual heater controls and some charge ports here all your steering wheel controls, got some lighted exterior features, uh, adjustable pedals, and adjustable seat. So tall, short, whatever, This is uh, these fit pretty well. Power sliding exterior mirrors and power folding exterior mirrors. Uh, so it does have that, uh, some nice features built into the tow package. Uh, powertrain on this is all stock. We didn't do any improvements to the powertrain, so it's factory emissions, factory exhaust. Uh, we do have some performance options available, um, but this will you know, continue to maintain your 336 uh, warranty through Ford, uh, 560 powertrain, and then your five year, 100,000 mile warranty on the diesel engine. Um, we do also, these trucks do come with stock wheels and tires, so if you do wanna drop these down to regular level height you can definitely do that and height change on this takes about man, by the time you change your wheels and tires you're looking at 35 to 40 minutes um and i'll actually have there's going to be a video link in the description for this video and then for a full listing on this one that'll have over 100 photos pricing financing trade and delivery information i'll put that link down here in the video description as well uh, our website is southerndieseltruck.com uh, but I will list that link down below. If you guys have any questions on this, you can always reach out to us at the shop. Put that phone number in the description as well. Um, and then we can also build these to spec. So if you want a different color, you want different wheels, you want a different height, you want to go full hydraulic, um, just give us a call and we can build one to your specifications.